All right, Crass, today we're gonna be making macaroni art. So on your desk, you should have macaroni, glue, and a piece of paper. You have the entire day of Crass to make your macaroni art, and I'll grade it at the end of the day. Go! Guys, we get to make macaroni art! Dude, this is like a free day! I'm totally gonna half-ass this. <laughs> he really just gave us boxes of macaroni and cheese and glue. Like, look, look, the cheese packet is still in there. I could just make macaroni and cheese if I wanted to. I can make three servings of macaroni and cheese. Well, stop flapping your lips and go make it. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the teacher's lounge and cook this up. So, Penelope, what macaroni art are you gonna make? It's a surprise for you! Okay. All right, guys, let's do it. <laughs> And done. What did you make, Joseph? Oh, I made a pile of throw-up, dude. Sick, right? It does look like a pile of throw-up. Thanks, dude. What, Penelope, did you make a ball sack? Whoa, a ball sack? No, Junior, I made a heart because I love you. It looks like a ball sack. Yeah, a ball sack would have been better, dude. I made a macaroni dragon. Oh my god, Junior, that looks amazing. Oh, dude, you should post that to Instagram. Mac and cheese, anyone? I made about three servings. Holy fucking shit, Junior, look at that macaroni dragon. It looks cool as tits. You should put that on the ground. Damn. Wait, I should really make an Instagram post about this? Yeah, dude, it's gonna go viral. Uh, nobody answered me about the mac and cheese. Of course we want a bowl of mac and cheese, Cody. Pour it. Give me a bowl, idiot. I'm gonna post this on Instagram. I made a volcano erupting. Oh, make my volcano erupt, Daddy. I made the night sky with a bunch of stars in it. You didn't even do anything. Yeah, I did. Each one of these stars could have its own solar system with a bunch of planets that could have life and worlds we haven't even explored yet. That's gay. Yeah, well, yours is just a dick. Mmm. Thanks for the mac and cheese, Cody. Yeah, I would have made it creamier, but I didn't think you guys would want Cody's special juice in it. <laughs> I'm not eating it. Hey, do you think the teacher's gonna grade our macaroni art? Well, you're gonna get in trouble because he's gonna think you made a ball sack. It's not a ball sack, Junior! Guys, I think the teacher's asleep. Oh, but well, since he's asleep, you guys want to leave school early and come hang out at my house? Sure. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. No, I'm not going. I'm staying here because I don't want to get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble because you made a ball sack. Shut up, Junior! I'm going to take this and put this on my refrigerator. Guys, what do you think Chef PB's going to say when I put this on the refrigerator? He might get scared to think it's a real dragon, dude. Did you ever post it on Instagram? I did, but I haven't checked on it. Let me see how it's doing. Oh my god, Junior, your macaroni dragon has 4 million likes. Whoa, what? dude, you're Instagram famous. What, 4 million likes? I mean, I know it's good, but I didn't think that many people would like it. Junior, you're never going to believe who commented on your picture. Who? Stone Cold Steve Austin. The wrestler? Yeah, he says, man, this shit is stone cold. And then he says, what's your address, buddy? And then he said, I'm going to kick your ass. Actually, I don't know if you liked it or not. Wait, well, let me see if he messaged me. Oh, guys, he direct messaged me. Ooh, I don't I don't think he likes it. Dude, he commented on your thing three times. He definitely likes it. Well, you remember that world record egg picture? He, he didn't like that one either. I think he just hates viral pictures on Instagram. Oh. Wh who's at the door? I really hope it's not Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, let me go see. Hello? Hey there, you the kid that made that macaroni dragon? Yeah. Well, you're gonna be huge, I tell you, huge! Who are you? I'm Steve Stahlberger, talent agent and macaroni art enthusiast. Have you ever thought about going pro? Pro in what? Well, becoming a professional macaroni artist, of course! I didn't know that was a thing. Of course it's a thing! A lot of people dream of being professional macaroni artists. In fact, tonight is the Macaroni Artist Super Bowl, where the two best macaroni artists in the world go head to head, and I think you've got what it takes! Well, I've only ever made one macaroni art. Oh, come on, kid, I've seen your art, and if Stone Cold Steve Austin wants to beat your ass, that means it's good. He hates really good macaroni art. It's the highest compliment you can get! Really? Yeah, so come on, you in? Uh, I guess I'll do it. Okay, be at the Super Bowl at 8 p.m. Uh, okay, but I don't know where it's at. I'll figure it out. Who was at the door, Junior? It was some old guy saying he wanted me to compete in the Super Bowl of macaroni. The fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking what? The Super Bowl of macaroni. Dude, that definitely is made up. No, he sounded real. He sounded like he meant it. And he said, I'm competing against another guy who's good at macaroni art. Are you really sure? Yeah, he said it's at 8 o'clock tonight. It's tonight? Tonight. It definitely made up, bro. Yeah. No. <gasps> it sounds like someone just came into the front door. Oh, no. I hope it's not Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bro, if it's Stone Cold Steve Austin, I'm out of here. Well, no, Joseph, don't leave. Oh, who is that? What's up, pussies? What, what are you doing in my house? I'm just trying to see who I'm up against in the macaroni Super Bowl. Wait, you're the guy I'm going to verse? Yeah. Are you even good? Am I good? You see this black guy? Stone Cold Steve Austin gave me that. He hit me with a stone Stone Cold Stunner in the parking lot this morning when I was at the grocery store buying macaroni for the Super Bowl. Oh, so I guess you are good. Yeah, and I can tell you're not very good because Stone Cold Steve Austin would have already kicked your ass by now. Well, he's trying to. No, he's not. Well, hold on, my phone's ringing. Guys, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's calling me. Hello? Hey. A Stone Cold Steve Austin. 
Here's me, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I saw your little macaroni doodle. It was cool. Too cool. So whenever I find you, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna leg drop you through a table, you little punk. Well, why do you hate my drawing so much? I mean, it, it was really cool. Look at it. <laughs> wow, kid, you must be really good. Stone Cold Steve Austin was really mad. I think he broke his phone there. Yeah, I guess that means I am really good at macaroni art. And I guess that means I have a chance to beat you then. Oh no, you're never going to beat me. I've been practicing macaroni art my entire life. Why would you do that? Well, it all started with one man, Macaroni Jones. Who's Macaroni Jones? Oh, I'll tell you the story. So I was in elementary school, and we were making macaroni art, and I made a smiley face. And I thought it was the best smiley face you could make as a third grader. So I called the teacher over, and I was like, Mrs. Williams, look! And she gave me a thumbs up. So I was like, fuck yeah, I got a thumbs up. That's me. But then... There he was, Macaroni Jones. He made a dinosaur out of macaroni. Like, I'm talking, it was gorgeous. I thought it was a real dinosaur, his art was so good. And Mrs. Williams saw it and said, Hey, look, class, look how good Macaroni Jones' art is. And the entire class clapped and cheered. And this one kid even pulled his eyes out and said, I never want to see anything ever again, because I've seen it all now. I want that macaroni art to be the last thing I ever see. So that pissed me off. So I went home that night, and I got a bucket of glue and a box of macaroni, and I stayed up all night to try to make macaroni art better than his. Then, I went to school the next day and said, hey, Mrs. Williams, check this shit out. I made the best possible tree out of macaroni. And Mrs. Williams said, very nice guy, and it broke my heart. Very nice? That's it, bitch? Then, everyone heard a honk outside, and we looked out the window, and Macaroni Jones pulled up in his macaroni car. He made an entire car out of macaroni. You should have seen the kid with no eyes. He pulled his ears off after that. He said that was the last thing he ever wanted to hear because it was so beautiful. I even heard Macaroni Jones made his entire house out of macaroni. He even put a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. So I vowed from that day forward to be the best at macaroni art. I never heard what happened to Macaroni Jones after that, but I think he might be the quarterback for the New England Patriots now. Oh, wow. Well, what kind of macaroni art have you made since then? Well, I can't tell you that. I wouldn't want to give you any ideas. But just know I'm not going to hold back just because you're a little kid. You better bring it. You're going to have to do a hell of a lot better than some shitty little macaroni dragon. Get good, scrub! Wow, Cody, he was a meanie beanie. Yeah, meanie beanie indeed. Wow, Junior, you have a lot of pressure. You have to compete with him and Stone Cold Steve Austin's trying to kick your ass. Yeah, well, I can't back down. I have to go to the Macaroni Super Bowl. Hello and welcome to the Macaroni Art Super Bowl, sponsored by Kraft, Elmer's Glue, and Paper. Today we have the two best macaroni artists in the world facing off to see who can make the best macaroni art. We'll be starting soon. Hey kid, good luck tonight. Thanks, psych! I hope you fucking lose. I hope you break your fingers trying to glue the macaroni to the paper, because there's no way you're going to win. There's no way you're going to beat my macaroni tree. I've been practicing that since third grade. Wait, shit, did I just say what I was gonna make? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. I meant, I mean, I'm making broccoli. No, shit, that still looks too much like a tree. Not, not that I'm making a tree, because I'm not. No, I'm making a cauliflower. No, that still looks like a tree. It, which is not what I'm making. It's not a tree. It's a, it's actually a, it's a, it's a tree house. But that's still a tree, but it's not a tree. It's definitely not a tree. It's a stump. I'm making a stump. All right, you know what? Fuck it. I'm making a tree, okay? But you're not gonna beat it. It's gonna be the best tree you've ever seen. It's gonna be a photorealistic tree. It's gonna look just like the real thing, okay? You know what? I dare you. Make a tree. Go ahead. Try it. It's not gonna beat mine. Try it. All right, we're ready to start. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> ah, I'm blind! <laughs> now I have a head start. <laughs> All right, time's up. Let's see what you made. Well, kid, I think I outdid myself this time. Behold, a tree, the mighty oak. Just look at the detail, the bark, the hole. Well, guy, let's see what you did this time. Oh, look at that, a tree for the 25th year in a row. But this one might just be your best. Thank you very much, sir. I tried very hard on it. Well, let's see what you did, Junior. Well, son, your paper appears to be empty. Ha! He choked! Looks like I win! Well, no, look, this is what I made. Holy jumping Jesus! That's a fully functional macaroni car! <gasps> he learned from Macaroni Jones. Fuck! Fuck! God damn it, I can't believe this! I hate my life so much! Well, I guess we have our winner, Junior wins! I hate you! <laughs> so, what do I win for making this? Nothing! You just win! Wait, I don't get a trophy or anything? Nope, but go post that on Instagram! That's it? Yep!
Oh, okay. It doesn't roll well on carpet. Oh, well, how did the Super Bowl go? <laughs> I won. Oh, cool. Wait, did you get a ring or something? No, they don't really give you anything for winning. Well, do you even have any proof that you won? No. Well, okay, well, does this thing even exist? You yeah, know, it existed and I won. I made a macaroni car. Oh, that's, I mean, that's cool. How'd you do that? Well, I just built a Lego car and glued macaroni on it. I feel like they would have disqualified you if they knew that. Well, I don't think there's any rules. It, it was just a guy. Uh oh. Wait, what was that? There's someone at the door. Hello? Oh, I told you Stone Cold was gonna get you. Don't you dare make good macaroni art ever again. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Well, me and Timmy were thinking we could take a big old friend bubble bath together. Yeah, naked. And then we can see who can hold their breath underwater the longest. Dude, who invited Timmy? Yeah, why is he here? He's not part of our friend group. Well, he hangs out with us sometimes. But he's not officially part of our friend group yet, so he needs to go home. Well, how do I become a part of your friend group? Uh, you have to do a gang initiation. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I love gay initiation. He did not say that. He said gang. Yeah, a gang initiation to show you're hard enough to be a part of the Skeeter Boys. The Skeeter Boys? Yeah, that's the name of our friend group. I've never heard you say that ever. Joseph, what's the name of our friend group? Skeeter Boys! Skeet Skeet! Ooh, I love that. Skeet Skeet! Uh, dude, we should probably change the name of the group now. Yeah. So, what's the test? Oh, uh, it's gotta be something very difficult. Uh, you should probably break it to every car in the neighborhood and steal something valuable and bring it back to me so I can have it. Yeah, that's what you gotta do to become a part of the Skeeter Boys. Okay, I'll do that. But no, Timmy, that's illegal. But I want to be a part of your friends group. Yeah, he has to do it if he wants to be part of the Skeeter Boys. Well, I didn't have to take a test. Because you're part of the three founding Skeeter Boys. If, if someone wants to join the Skeeter Boys, they have to do a gang initiation. Okay, well, I'll just go do it right now. What? No, Timmy, guys, why did you do that? Because we don't want Timmy to be a part of our friend group, and we gave him something hard to do because we know he can't do it. Yeah, he's not going to pull it off, dude. <sighs> I have to break into this car. Well, maybe I should check to see if it's unlocked first. <gasps> oh my god, so lucky! <gasps> a wallet! Okay, time for car number two. <clears throat> Shit, it's locked! Time for handy dandy crowbar. Oh, yes! Oh, what a score! There's so much good stuff here! A oh, phone? Shit! Oh no, I broke it! Well, maybe it'll still work. Okay, let's see if this Jeep is unlocked. Ooh, so lucky! Oh my god, best score yet! Sorry, Mom and Dad, but I want to be a Skeeter Boy. Oh, oh, the alarm! But Mom's purse! Honey, I got the baseball bat. The car alarm's going off. I think a damn raccoon crawled across the truck. I'm gonna go check it out. Where are you at, you dang raccoon? Oh my god! Someone broke into my truck with a crowbar? Suzanne, call the police! Someone stole your Louis Vuitton purse! Oh, baby, where is it? Where's what, Marvin? My wallet! It's missing! You left it in the car, silly! Oh, yeah. 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 What the? What? My car door's open! What? Someone stole my wallet! Someone broke into my car! And Jeffy's car door's open, too! What? Someone broke into our cars! <laughs> hey, Marvin! Somebody broke into your car, too? Yeah, they broke into me and Jeffy's car. They broke into yours? Yeah, they broke in and stole my wife's Louis Vuitton purse. It was the nicest purse I ever had! <laughs> yeah, I got it for her, and I'm sorry for cheating on you with a babysitter gift. I already called the cops! Oh, look! They're pulling up now! How badass did that look, huh? Like when I got out of my car and I took off my sunglasses and just tossed them away? That was badass, right? It was pretty cool. Yeah, how about this? How about I pull up again and you record it on my phone so I can put it on Facebook? We don't have time for that. There's crime going on in the neighborhood. Okay, what kind of crime? Someone broke into our cars and stole our stuff. Like, they stole my wallet. And they stole my wife's Louis Vuitton purse. Well, do you have security camera footage of the person who did it? No. No, but there's a crowbar over there you could probably get some fingerprints off of. Yeah, we don't really do that unless it's like a murder or a bank robbery or something actually important. But this is important. Someone stole our stuff out of our cars. Well, I don't know what to do other than tell you to lock your cars. They were locked. Well, look, I don't know. Start a neighborhood watch or something. If you catch the guy that did it, then I can arrest him. Isn't it your job to catch the bad guys? Look, there are better guys out there for me to catch, okay? So I'm gonna go pick up my sunglasses off the ground and then go pull up like that somewhere else where a real crime is happening and hope somebody records it. He said to form a neighborhood watch. Alright, Marvin, you and me, sit in the car all night and patrol the neighborhood. Honey, do be careful! Oh, I will, honey. I got my Louisville slugger right here. 
Hey, Joseph, can you set the pins back up? Yeah, bro, I got you. Guys, Timmy's taking a long time. Should we go check on him? No, Cody, if he wants to be part of the Skeeter Boys, he has to prove he can't get caught. Yeah, dude, he has to live that lifestyle. Oh, my God. Guys, I got some really good stuff. You actually did it? Oh, yeah. No, he didn't, dude. I believe it when I see it. Where's the stuff? Well, I have four words for you. Avril Lavigne and Jason Derulo CDs. The greatest albums of all time. Fabulous. That was more than four words. Dude, I can't use that stuff. Everything is digital these days. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? The complete series of Brandy and Mr. Whiskers on DVD. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Brandy's sexy. Wait, wait what's sexy about her? Look at her toes. <gasps> Look at those toes. <laughs> She's a dog, dude. She's not a dog, Cody. But wait, there's more. I even got Tony Hawk's Underground for PlayStation 2. Dibs, that one's mine. And... I found a phone! But I got so excited on the way here, I dropped it, and now it doesn't work anymore. We can't sell a broken phone, Timmy. Yeah, where's the good stuff? Like jewelry and money and stuff. Ooh, I got some of that, too. I got a gold chain and a gold ring. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And... I got Mr. Marvin's wallet. Oh, Joseph, go through that. Oh, I got you. See if there's money in there. Ooh. And I saved the best for last. A Louis purse! Soleil! Well, what's inside it? I don't know. Let's see. We have some lipstick and some bubble gum. Oh, bubble gum. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I don't know what these are. Oh, popsicles! I want one! Oh, I hope mine's orange. I hope mine's red, white, and blue. Oh, wait a minute, guys. These aren't popsicles. These are mozzarella cheese sticks. Oh, dude, even better. I love cheese sticks. Cool. They even have a little thing where you can inject the cheese right into your mouth. <laughs> guys, I think these are stale. Well, they have been inside a purse, and I think you're supposed to refrigerate cheese. Oh, man. So, guys, can I be a part of the Skeeter Boys now? Well, he did break into a car and steal a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, that is pretty gangster. <sighs> I guess so. Yeah, you're you're part of the Skeeter Boys now. Oh my god, yay! All right, Marvin, we're gonna sit right here in the Tahoe and wait for the bastard to come back. And when he does, we're gonna grab him and call the police. Well, I don't think they're gonna try to rob the same truck they already robbed tonight. I think we should walk around the neighborhood and try to catch him. Ah, smart thinking, Marvin. Here, you take this talkie, channel 20. My code name is Hucker Doodle Doo, and you're gonna be Marvin the Martian, okay? Okay. All right, call me if you see anything suspicious, and I'll be right over. All right, let's go. Where are you, criminal? Where are you? <gasps> Marvin the Martian. Come in. There's something creeping in my bushes. Hey, freeze! You're under citizen's arrest. Oh my god. It's a damn raccoon! Get out of my bushes, raccoon! Uh, 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 Wait, what the hell's going on? Uh, there's a damn raccoon in my bushes! Uh, you know, you're not supposed to be caring about raccoons. You're supposed to be caring about criminals. You're right, Marvin. Let's split back up. <sighs> okay, I don't see anything. Oh my god! Hank, come in, Hank! Who are you talking to, Marvin the Martian? I'm talking to you! There's someone in my trash can. I think it might be the robber. I have no idea who you're talking to. My name is Hucker Doodle Doo. Over. <laughs> Hucker Doodle Doo. Oh, what'd you say, Marvin the Martian? Oh, there's someone in the trash can. I, I think it might be the robber. Come quick. All right, Marvin, where's he at? He's in the trash can. Hey, you! Get out of the trash can! You're under arrest. Yummy beer. Oh, Marvin, it's a damn homeless. You think he stole our stuff? Where's the Louis Vuitton? That light reminds me of the aliens abducted me. Are you here to probe my asshole? I don't think he stole our stuff. All right, get out of the neighborhood. Yeah, get out of here, you goober. Okay. I think we should stick together. All right, Marvin, come on. All right, Marvin, see anything suspicious? No, I don't see anything. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Wait, who's that? Wait, I don't recognize that car. Me either. Hey, stop the car! Yes, yeah, st stop your car! Is there a problem, gentlemen? What are you doing in our neighborhood, bub? Oh, I'm delivering pizza, see? You work for Papa John's? Yes, sir. Where's your car topper? Oh, I don't put it on because it'll scratch my paint. Uh-huh, likely story. Whose panties are those? Uh, they're mine. What are your pronouns? He, him. He, hims don't wear panties. Those are for she, hers, and they, thems, and A, B, C, D, F, Gs. So I'm going to ask you again, where'd you get the fucking panties? I got them from some girl. You've been breaking into my car, stealing my wife's panties, sniffing them, huh? Well, I mean, I am sniffing them, but they're not your wife's. I got them from some girl online, and I use them as an air freshener. Marvin, I think we got our suspect. Out of the car, bub. For what? We're making a citizen's arrest, so get out of the car! But I didn't do anything! You were breaking into the car, so out of the car! Oh, okay. Yeah, come on. Up against the car! Ow! Be gentle, I have weak bones. I didn't drink milk growing up. Shut up, criminal. Hey, Marvin, call 911 and let them know we got our perk. Okay. So 
Someone please tell me they recorded that. I did. Thank you. Send that to me. Okay, so what's going on here? What? Jonathan? Thank goodness, looking guy. You're trying to arrest me for no reason. No, what did you do? He's the guy that's been breaking into the cars in our neighborhood. No, oh, Jonathan doesn't break into cars. Explain the panties. What the hell? Are those my wife's panties? Yes. I took them last time I was at your house. God damn it, Jonathan. Well, you never told me I couldn't take your wife's panties. You should already know that. Okay, I'm going to take you back to my house so you can apologize to my wife. Oh, yay! Okay, you know what? How about I just tell mom what you did? No, please! So take my Xbox away! You should have your Xbox taken away. <sighs> Thanks for telling me about this, guys. Come on, Jonathan. No problem. Just trying to keep the neighborhood safe. So, how do you play this game? You've never bowled before? No, my father only lets me study and play instruments. Well, you just roll that ball into the pins over there. Ooh, I love balls, and I love those wiener-looking things. Jesus, dude, he's out of the Skeeter Boys. Yeah, Timmy, you can't be a part of the Skeeter Boys anymore. But I robbed all those cars! Yeah, guys, that's not fair. Dude, we only have room for one gay friend. Sorry. Well, oh, thank you, Joseph. Yeah, but I'm not gay, though. Oh, yeah, all right. Listen, Timmy, we never wanted four friends in our friend group. Four is a crowd. Three is a perfect number. It's like the Three Musketeers. They like Three Musketeers so much they named a candy bar after him. Well, Junior, Three Musketeers was a book first. No, Cody, Three Musketeers is a candy bar. You think all those words on the back of the candy bar is a book? That's a nutrition fact. Wait, no, no, Junior, they named the candy bar after a book. You think a candy aisle is a bookstore? <laughs> oh, my favorite book is the Reese's Cups. My Starburst. <laughs> my Skittles. Taste the rainbow. I fucking hate you, Junior. See, look, that's why you can't be part of a friend group because Cody is the gay friend. You, you, you just can't be here, okay? It's a little cr overcrowded, bro. Oh, oh the cops! Jesus, dude! Oh, there's a cop car outside. Oh, wait, look, Timmy. If you want to be a part of the Skeeter Boys, you have to go steal that cop car outside. Okay, deal. Wait, no, Timmy! Sorry, Jonathan. I know you're going to lose your Xbox, but PlayStation's better. Screw 12. Skeeter Boys for life. What the hell is a Skeeter Boy? What? Hey, hey, no, no, watch out for that car! Oh, Jesus. You are fucking grounded, mister. For the rest of your life, young man. Stealing a cop car is a huck or don't. And crashing the cop car that you stole is a huck or don't. And going outside at nighttime is a huck or don't. Why are you guys calling it that? Some of those are just laws. I'm sorry, everyone. I was just trying to be a skater boy. Wait, I'm sorry. Are you trying to say skater boy like the Avril Lavigne song? No, skater boy. It's the gang I'm in. Oh my God. And being in a gang is a huck or don't. I knew all that rap music was corrupting our kids' minds. In those darn video games. Anything else you want to admit to, young man? Yes, sir. I broke into everyone's car in the neighborhood and stole a bunch of stuff. You little shit. I can't believe I pushed you out of my vagina. Honey, DNA test tomorrow because no way is a huck or do. Because a huck or do would not do the things that you did. Okay, look, I know you guys are really upset, but he did crash my police car into my brother's car, so I'm gonna need your insurance information, because my brother is the suing type, and I, I also can't arrest him because he's a minor. Upstairs now, mister. I'm gonna give you a spanking so hard it's gonna turn your little tushy purple. You promise? Jesus, and read your Bible, Leviticus 18.22. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey. Huh? Hey, Timmy. Cody? Hey, what's up? I'm grounded. Oh, well, what happened? Well, come over here and I'll tell you. Oh, okay. Hey, we heard you got caught. I don't know why you asked what happened. Yeah, we heard you crashed the cop car. Pretty gangsta, dude. So, am I part of the Skeeter Boys now? Why aren't there sheets on your bed? Well, Cody came over earlier and- uh, they, they, they don't need to know about that. Be cool, bro. Okay, sorry. So, so am I part of the Skeeter Boys now? I mean, you did crash a cop car. Yeah, that was sick as hell, bro. I can't even lie. So, am I part of the Skeeter Boys now, or- mm. uh, 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 Ooh. I mean, right. uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I vote yes. Uh, okay. <gasps> really? Yeah, you're part of the Skeeter Boys. Oh my God! Yay! Welcome to the club. Thank you so much. It's like oh, smooth like chicken. Wait, smooth like chicken? Yeah, chicken smooth. If, if, if it's grilled chicken. No, it's not. It has grill marks on it. It's got little ridges. That I meant the, the the chicken you eat on Thanksgiving. You mean turkey? Oh, yeah, I meant turkey. Smooth like turkey, but like before it's cut up, like when it's on the table. Wait, wait, so am I part of the Skeeter Boys or not? I don't know. Okay, bye. Honey, how about we send little Timmy's hood rat ass to military school? Get his ass in check. 
You don't think it's gonna be too harsh on him? Not any harsher than being in a gang. Little shit thinks he's part of the Bloods and Crips. Yeah, hey, I know you guys are having a conversation here, but I really need that insurance information. I cannot leave without it. Well, how about this, Mr. Police Officer Man? How about I mow your grass for a year straight pro bono? I would really prefer the insurance information that was a company car, so, you know, I need that. Well, how about I take you bowling on Saturday? I think, really, you should just give me the insurance information, because your son crashed my car. Well, how about I mow your grass and take you bowling on Saturday? How about I arrest you if you don't give me your insurance card right now? Alright, calm down, calm down, i okay. So, guys, you ready to go to school? Oh, yeah, let me just grab my cup. Oh, dude, I almost forgot about mine. <laughs> You ready? Hold on just one second. You almost have dude. I'm gonna go to school. What, Junior, where's your cup? Yeah, dude. What cup? Your Stanley cup. Well, I don't play professional hockey and I've never won a championship, so I don't have a Stanley cup. No, silly, your Stanley cup. What are you sipping out of? Yeah, this thing. I thought a Stanley cup was a hockey trophy. No, Junior, this is a Stanley cup. This is the new technology in drinking. Yeah, it's very futuristic. I'm talking Jetson style, dude. Well, what's it do? What's it do? <laughs> Joseph, you hear that? This knucklehead just asked us what it do. <laughs> silly Billy is doing what it do. It holds 30 ounces of drink, Junior, and check this out. It keeps your drink cold for nine hours and your ice doesn't melt for 40 hours. Wait, if the ice doesn't melt for 40 hours, then why does the drink only stay cold for nine hours? Shouldn't the drink stay cold for 40 hours? Who knows, Junior? Maybe the ice cubes get hot. And look, it even keeps the ice cubes hot for five hours. Dude, it's unheard of. Well, how much is it? It's about 50 bucks. Wait, Joseph, how'd you get one? Dude, you know I stole it. I got sticky fingers. Wait, well, so can I just go buy one? No, no, they're sold out everywhere. Yeah, you won't find it anywhere, dude. Well, I guess I'll just not have one and go to school. Well, I mean, you're gonna get made fun of. Yeah, you're gonna get thirsty, ain't it? What? No one's gonna make fun of me because no one's ever heard of these things. You guys are the only ones that have them. Oh, you've obviously not been on TikTok. Bro, it went super viral. Come on. Well, look, I'll just go get a drink from McDonald's and drink out of a normal cup. What, and have your ice melt and then water down your drink? <laughs> no way, Jose. Rookie mistake. <laughs> well, can, can you put a root beer float in it? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Joseph, come on. Let's go to school. He's so naive. Well, no, I was just wondering if, if the ice cream melts after 40 hours or just, just stay ice cream and... <sighs> What, Penelope, you have one too? Junior, where's your Stanley Cup? No, he doesn't have one. Yeah, he's missing out. Junior, you're totally lame. You have to go get one. I can't be with you unless you have a Stanley Cup. I don't need one. It doesn't take me 40 hours to drink my drinks with ice. I bet you like it when your ice melts, you sick fuck. Yeah, dude, you're super lame. Well, I don't need one. Why would I need one? Because, Junior, you don't look hydrated. Thirsty ass. Hey, guys. <gasps> PJ Crenshaw. Parrot James Crenshaw. Jimmy James Crenshaw. Oh, my God. No Stanley Cup, bro. Thanks. I would give anything to take a sip out of your cup. Why? Because it's a BBC Big Black Cup? I just wanted to invite you guys to my Stanley Cup party. We're going to sit around and sip cold drinks for 40 hours. And of course, it's BYOSC. Bring your own Stanley Cup. Well, what if we don't have a Stanley Cup? <laughs> Who doesn't have a Stanley Cup? Do we have to go? No, I'm going. I want to go! I'm definitely going! <laughs> <laughs> Get a Stanley Cup right now. <laughs> okay, Grape, you're gonna tell me what I need to know, or your brother's going to die. <laughs> so cough it up. Talk. Oh, you ain't gonna say nothing? Okay, okay. <laughs> you think I'm fucking playing with you? <laughs> hey, Chef Pee Pee. <laughs> yeah, no more family members just because you didn't want to talk. <laughs> no more family reunion, bitch. Wait, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, what's up, Junior? What are you doing? Oh, I just was trying to find out why are these grapes seedless? It's a mystery. Oh, well, I was wondering if you could go get me a Stanley Cup. What? I, I can't do that, Junior. I'm not athletic. I don't even have legs. Wait, Chef Pee, what is this? It's a water bottle. Wait, how long does it keep drinks cold for? Like 24 hours? 24 hours? I mean, that's, that's got to be good enough. But if you could go get me a Stanley Cup, I'd really appreciate it. Junior, I can't do that. Well, well look, I'm going to take this, but I know if you try hard enough, you can get a Stanley Cup. I believe in you. You really do? 
My mama didn't even believe in me. Okay, I'll do it, Junior. All right, guys, check out my Stanley. What the hell is this? Dude, where'd you get that knockoff cup from? Timu or Ali Boo Boo shit? Well, no, guys, it's a take ya. It's like a Stanley. Junior, nothing's like a Stanley. There's only one Stanley. Yeah, Stanley's one of one, dude. Well, no, it does exactly what the Stanley does. It keeps my drink cold for 24 hours. 24 hours? That's nowhere near 40. Yeah, Junior, what are you going to do when we want to do our 40-hour drinking binges? Oh, boy, he's not going to last. I don't need my drink cold for 40 hours. 24 hours is long enough. But Junior, by the time you go to bed, your shit's gonna be melted. Yeah, it's gonna be a slushy, bro. Well, look, look, this will keep my drinks hot for 12 hours. Yours only does 5 hours. It'll keep your drinks hot forever because your ice is gonna be melted after 24 hours. Bro, it's not even winter. Why are you drinking hot stuff? Well, guys, let's just go to PJ's party. You're not gonna get into the party with this. You need a Stanley. Yeah, he's gonna notice that fake you, dude. What? No, he's not gonna notice. Let's just get in. He's gonna notice because they don't make Stanleys in this color piss yellow. Yes, yeah, a dead giveaway. And where's your straw? There's a straw straw under there. Let me see here. What? Junior, that's not a straw. That's a hole. Dude, it's gonna spill everywhere. Okay, guys, fine. I'll go try to find a Stanley. Damn. Where's the Stanley? Where's the Stanley edge? Hey, sir, I can tell you're looking for something frantically. Can I help you? Uh, do you have any Stanley cups? <laughs> do we have any Stanley cups? Kid, do you even know what you're asking for? That's the hottest cup on the market right now. Look over here. Look, we just sold the fuck out. See, all we got left are the camp mugs. Are the camp mugs cool? No, that's why they haven't sold out yet. Who wants a camp mug? Who camps? Who mugs? Oh, well, can you check the back and see if you have any? I'm telling you right now, we don't have any. Sorry, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> Wait, is that a Stanley? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not one of the cool ones. I mean, it only keeps your drinks cold for 17 hours, but it's still pretty neat. I mean, hey, it's got a picture of a bear with wings on it who's also a king, so that's pretty cool. Well, can I buy that one from you? No, I don't want to be a lame -o. Get your own Stanley cup. Can you please double check the back? <sighs> all I know we have back there is a Yeti. <laughs> Maybe it could eat you so you don't have to live with the embarrassment of not having a Stanley cup. Is it a real Yeti? No, it's actually just the kind of cup we have. I mean, it's not a Stanley, but it's second best. Well, can you grab it? Okay. I just need something. <laughs> All right, guys, look what I just got. Oh, Junior, a Yeti? Dude, 2015 called. They want their cut back. Guys, a Yeti is just as good as a Stanley. Look, it has 35 ounces. Yours is only 30. Okay, but how long does it keep your drink cold for? What's the mileage on that bad boy? Uh, it doesn't say, does it? That's because those fucking cowards were afraid to put it on there because they knew it was embarrassing. No, I bet it keeps it cold for like 38 hours. No, it doesn't, Junior. If your dick's big, you brag about it. Look at Stanley. He just whipped it out, said 40 hours. What are you going to do about it? Yeti ain't packing nothing. Yeah, Yeti's a grower, not a shower, dude. Big chode energy. No, guys, look, the Yeti's cool. Just look at it. What? Oh, my God, you can see inside it? Yeah, you can see what you're drinking. Junior, look at this. You can't see inside the Stanley. Am I done? Who knows? Look at that. The sun's going to creep in and melt your drink. But drinks already melted. In a Yeti they are. Look, guys, look, the Yeti is cool enough. I just paid for it. Well, how much did you pay for it? $40. Oh, Junior, for $10 more you could have had a Stanley. They don't have Stanleys. They're sold out everywhere. Well, that's too bad, Junior. Joseph, come on. We gotta go to that party. Oh, no, guys, guys, should I go? Should I show up with the Yeti? If you show up with that Yeti, you're gonna get kicked out. Oh. Yeah, loser. I'm gonna get a Stanley! <laughs> Stupid Yeti! Oh, I need a Stanley cup! Well, maybe my dad bought one a long time ago and put it in the cabinets. No. <laughs> No! Oh, Junior! I did it! I won the Stanley Cup! Wait, you won the Stanley Cup trophy? Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't easy. I did so well, though, that they made a new Stanley Cup trophy for me! <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. So I joined the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey team. They needed a goalie, so it worked out perfectly, because I don't have any legs! So I just sat in the goal. It was the preseason, so I knew it would take a few months to make it to the championship. But out of nowhere, all the teams in the NHL planes crashed! leaving only my team and the Vegas Golden Knights. So they had the finals today, and the game was tied one-to-one. -one. Very slow-ass game. And the other team hit the puck right at me, hitting me in my face, knocking out my teeth, and giving me a black eye. But the puck bounced off my face and flew all the way across the ice into their goal. And we won the Stanley Cup! Can you believe that? And the best part about it, Junior, since the Maple Leafs haven't won since like 1967, they designed and named this trophy after me. It's called the PP Cup. So here, Junior, have your PP Cup. It's way better than the Stanley Cup. I'm sorry, Chef PP. I don't need a hockey trophy. I need a Stanley Cup that I can drink out of. You can take a lid off of it and drink out that motherfucker. No, it needs to be like an actual Stanley Cup. I'm sorry, Chef PP. It's not good enough. Exactly like my father said. Oh, I need a Stanley Cup. God, please give me a Stanley Cup. Hello, my son. Wh who are you? I am the Trend God. The Trend God? Yes, anything that has ever trended or gone viral, I have created. 
I create trends. Maybe you remember the fidget spinner, or shutter shades, or even way back in the 1800s, top hats. Oh, and I know for a fact you've heard of AirPods, overpriced wireless headphones, I'll take three. But my favorite thing is making things for basic white bitches. Oh, Ugg boots, Starbucks, North Face jackets, and my best creation of all, Taylor Swift. Yes, that's right. I created her in a laboratory. I never thought she'd be this big. Sometimes my creations go a little rampant. She's actually gotten a little too big. Do you know what she's doing? She is taking her music that she's already recorded and made money off of, and she's recording it again exactly the same way and calling it her version. And you know what she's gonna do after that? She's gonna do it again. And she's gonna do it again, and again, and then eventually she's gonna have kids, and they're gonna make her own, and they're gonna call it Taylor's kids version, and they're gonna do that a thousand times? Oh, she is a money-making machine! God, I am so fucking rich! <sighs> so you made the Stanley Cup too? Oh yes, one of my finest creations. See, my friend Stanley bet me that I couldn't reinvent a cup that already exists and make it trendy. <laughs> so I did, and I named it after him, the poor bastard. Oh, so simple, but so fucking stupid. <laughs> Bitches love it though. Well, can I please have that one? My, all my friends have them and I want one. No, of course not. If people had things, they wouldn't be trendy. If everybody has something, it's not trendy. That's the whole point of being trendy. If everybody has it, it's just tube socks, which I also invented and they were trendy at one point. Oh, I just really want a Stanley Cup. Mm. Well, I can't give you my Stanley Cup, but I can give you this. One of my more regrettable creations. Maybe you remember Baby Shark doot 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 doot. You can have that. A baby shark cup? Yes, yeah, not real proud of that one, but you can have that. I must go now, I have other trends to create. Ooh, I have an idea. What about putting googly eyes on french fries before you eat them? Yes, and then kids will eat the googly eyes and they'll have to go to the hospital and it'll be like Tide Pods all over again. Oh, how do I do it? I am brilliant. I'm just gonna leave on my Razor scooter now. <clears throat> Ta-ta! Fuck, it's hard to do in the house. <sighs> I'll try to get in the party with this. Next. Let me see your Stanley. Here you go, Stan. Okay, you're good. Next. Let me see your Stanley. Here you go. Okay, you're good. Yeah. Next. Hey, everybody, please have your Stanley ready with the logo facing me. Oh, no, they're checking Stanley's at the door. Yeah, Junior, you can't get in the party unless you have a Stanley cup. Did you get yours? Uh, I got this. Junior, do, 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 do. You really think that's going to get you in this party? It's the only thing I could get. Well, I have to go. Oh, I really need a Stanley. Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Patrick. Hey, could you hold my Stanley? I lost my shoe in the road over there, and I got to get it. You need me to hold your Stanley? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can hold yours, yeah. I'll, I'll hold it right here, buddy. Thanks, Junior. <laughs> yep, that's a Stanley. You can go in. Have fun at PJ's party. Next! I have a Stanley. What, is that even a Stanley? Yeah, it says it. It says Stanley. Well, it's not a 30 ounce, but I guess that counts. Okay, you can go in. Yes! Hey, guys. Thanks for coming to my Stanley party. Appreciate you inviting us, dude. Ain't no party like a Stanley party. Yeah, you know how to throw one, man. It's a total rager, PJ. Guys! I got a Stanley! Whoa, Junior, you got a Stanley? No way! It gotta be a knockoff, dude. No, there's no way my bouncer would let somebody into the party with a fake. Guys, it's a real Stanley. I got the smaller one because it's orange like me. Junior, your Stanley only holds 35 hours of ice? Dude, what you gonna do for the other five hours? Die of not cold drink. Guys, you can't make fun of me. I got a Stanley. A Stanley's a Stanley. Yeah, he's right. A Stanley is a Stanley. You know what, guys? Let's just drink our Stanleys. <laughs> Next! Hey, I think somebody stole my Stanley and came inside the party. Sorry, kid, I can't let you in if you don't have a Stanley. PJ's rules. No, I think somebody stole my Stanley and came in the party. Well, what'd your Stanley look like? It was orange. Huh. Now that you mention it, I think I did let a kid in this party with an orange Stanley. Okay, let's go confront him. Hey, that kid stole my orange Stanley! Yeah, that kid stole his Stanley. No, wait just a minute. Somebody stole a Stanley? It was Junior! Hey, I did not steal no stupid Stanley. Patrick's lying because he couldn't get a Stanley. It's got my name on it. Let me check. <gasps> Junior, how could you? Going outside, dude. Uh, I, I, I didn't Junior, know. Junior, stealing a Stanley's the most uncool thing you can do. Well, I just want to get in the party. Get out of my party. I just, I thought. Get I... the fuck out of my party. Go. But I just want to go. <laughs> Patrick, reclaim your Stanley. 
<laughs> hey, Junior, what's up? Yeah, what's up, dude? You guys aren't mad at me for stealing that Stanley? Oh, no, Junior, that's over. We're done with Stanleys. Yeah, that shit did, dude. What? You're already done with Stanleys? Well, yeah, Junior, it's just a trend. Yeah, dude, it's over with. What? You're already done with Stanley's? You made a big deal about it. They were just cups, Junior. Yeah, it's never that deep, bro. But you were talking about the 40 hours. Well, no, Junior, it didn't even work that well. I put ice in mine for 40 hours, and it melted after only 20. But that's fine, because we're on to a new trend.